What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. The 2022-2023 edition. If we get to 2022, or 2023, I should say. Dang, can't even speak. Anywho, in our last episode, we went into the Mahogany Hideout to defeat Team Rocket. We got ourselves an HM. And now we're unable to actually go to the gym, but I kind of think, I, I, you know, I, I thought to myself, you know what? Let's do all these side quests. Let's get buffed up. Let's defeat all three gyms at the same time. You know, have an adventure at it, you know? So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be leaving Mahogany Town, and we're going to be going straight back to Ecritic, all the way back to Olivine and all that stuff. Yes, we, we, we are on an adventure to be the greatest that's ever been. So let's go right ahead and uh, put on some repels and go in... You know what? We need to go to a Pokemon, uh, a Pokemart too, because well, yeah, Mahogany doesn't have any kind of a uh, any kind of mart. And are you serious? So we got Alan Schoolboy. He's like, hey, it's me, Alan. Uh, you're raising your Pokemon properly. I read in a book that you should raise your any Pokemon you catch with love and care. By the way, we knocked out a wild Pidgey just the other day. Studying up is uh, yeah, okay. Nobody cares. Okay. So yeah, I thought you were gonna give me an item, cool man, but no. Uh, but anywho, yes, we need to get to a Pokemart because we got a few items that we need to sell and uh, we have a few items that we need to get because, well, as you guys probably already saw in the Gyarados episode, yeah, it didn't really fare well with, like, Pokeballs and all that stuff. Almost ran out of Pokeballs. So, here we are, Ecrotech City. And uh, first things first, I'll be right back with you guys. I'm going to sell and buy some stuff. Okay, I'm back, baby. We bought ourselves a few healing items and an extra pair of Pokeballs, just in case. And our repel has worn off, so we probably should have bought some repels while we were at it. Nah, screw it. Okay, so here we're going into a next route, and yes, I am from New Bark Town. Professor Allen lives right there. Yeah, you've come a long way to get out of here. Yes, I did. Okay, so here we are, guys. Route 38. There's a lot of stuff that you can actually find here, including trainers. I've been over the sea, so I know about all sorts of Pokemon. Okay, Mr. Know-It-All. All right, here we go. Taking on a Sailor, Harry. Not Harry Potter, not Prince Harry, but Harry. And, well, he's going to be coming out with himself a level level 19 whooper. Yeah, I got to switch out because this is not going to work. Uh, it really isn't. So let's go straight to Chico. We know how to deal with whoopers. We got Chico. And yes, in the last episode, too, Chico finally evolved into its final stage. Thanks in part to an experience share, so we're we're pretty good right there. And look at that, Razor Leaf does the trick, critical hit, bam. And off screen, bam. There we go. Got ourselves to level 26. We did get our uh, we did give Serpentera uh, the experience share just so I could start growing because well yeah we're gonna be needing it pretty soon. And are you serious? Okay, what's up, mom? Found a useful shopping art. Okay, so yes, thank you, mom. She bought her some, uh, bought us a new item right there. Now in this area right here, you can actually find two a pretty good Pokemon, Miltank and Tauros. I would recommend getting one of either. If it was up to me, I'd get the Tauros because you know I can learn anything, and it's pretty tough too. You seem to be good at Pokemon. If you are, how about giving me some advice? The advice: never get yourself. A Magikarp at level 5 because it's gonna be hell and oh crap baskets yeah I made a mistake picked the wrong Pokemon but you know what switch training is not that bad I guess so let's go straight to lucky just to prevent any kind of shocking stuff look at that yes lucky and tackle attack oh so you mean to tell me it doesn't have an electric type attack okay so let's go with the rollout and that missed crap baskets okay so yeah come on this could have been our second rollout. So there we go, that's one. And that takes a lot. That is a critical hit right there. And well, here comes the number two. And just like that, Flappy has been defeated. Please tell me you have another Pokemon. Please. And yes, she does. So she is coming out with the Phasyduck. So let's go right ahead and make Phasyduck uh, pay for that. So here comes rollout number three. This one. Yes, say goodbye to Psyduck right here, and well, here's more points, Serpentera, and lost, last Dana, Dana, she has lost, 
Okay, so let's see. There is a trainer right here that you can actually battle to. It will be useful later on. Let me try something I learned today. Okay, so you learned something today. Why would you do that? I don't know. Alright, so here we go. Taking on schoolboy Chad, and he's coming out with his uh, Mr. Mime. Alright, Mr. Mime. How's it going? Here's Togapri, and we're going to be going straight for a Shadow Ball, but look at this. He's going to be using a barrier. This actually lifts up its defense a little bit. And Shadow Ball nearly defeats this guy, and its special defense has fallen, so this actually gives me a good chance to beat it right off the bat. And, well, Confusion hits us. A, okay, hits us pretty good. So there you go, Shadow Ball. For the win, say goodbye to Mr. Mime. And just like that, Togepri grows to level 28. And Serpentera mooching off our Pokemon. Yes, Schoolboy Chad has been defeated. I didn't study enough, I guess. No, you didn't. Alright, talk to me. I have to do, or I have to take so many tests. I don't have much time for Pokemon. So when I do get to play, I really concentrate. Huh? Is that a Poke? Or is that thing a Pokedex? Have you met Professor Oak? Huh? You have? That's way cool! I have a dream of becoming a Pokemon researcher like Professor Oak. May I please have your phone number? We should chat about Professor Oak. I'm sure there will be loads of fun. And yes, we got Chad's phone number. Hopefully he doesn't call me randomly when I'm like literally trying to do something important. Alright, before we do anything, before that girl she like literally sees us. Let's see if we have an uh yes, we have a repel for just one more thing. Alright. Let's get the heck out of here. Okay. Whew. Um, yes. Oh, wow. Uh, crap baskets. Alright, let's see. Nope, there's no item right here. What I was trying to get at was right over to that tree. And, oh, wow. <laughs> totally wasted the repel on, on these guys. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and battle. Hi, aren't you a cute trainer? May I see your Pokemon? Sure, why not? I hope that's not in your window for anything else, but let's go right ahead and take on a beauty, Valerie, and she is going to be coming out with her hop hip right here. And Togepi, how's it going? I, I, I really wish you had a flying type attack. This is probably the reason to why we're going to be going to Olivine, because there is a chance that we can get a flying type attack somewhere around there. And Serpentera, come on, stop mooching off people's things. And well... Here comes a skip loom. Let's share the wall. Let's go straight to Hera. And, well, look at that skip loom looking like a skip loom. I think this is probably like the first time I'm looking at this guy. And, well, let's go right ahead for an ember attack. Now, I was informed, I was told that uh, you can, you can buy flamethrower and teach it to one of your Pokemon. Over in Goldenrod, it's just, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to, it, it was on a specific day. I think, I think that was the thing right here. So let's go right ahead and grab this. Here we found ourselves a berry. Okay. Now we have a lot of those berries, and it's a good thing that we're here now because there is a specific, a specific spot right here where a berry or two or three or four or uh, a lot is needed, so let's go right ahead and take on this Dodua. How's it going, Dodua? This is Togepi, and Togepi, let's go with a swift attack. I wonder if, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, uh, I kind of want to know if Togepi can actually learn something, uh, something new here. I haven't really checked that out, so, yeah, we defeated that, and, well, let's go straight to Flavolt. We gotta give it some love. And, well, while we're doing this, a little bit of a heads up, guys. I think I said this in the last episode. Um, so, let's see, let's see, let's see. Pokemon Stadium and Stadium 2. I want to come out with them right around the holidays. Like, right around the holidays. And I'm talking about, like, Thanksgiving. Um, well, around that time, too. Like, you know, from Thanksgiving all the way down to Christmas. Make it a part of, like, our, you know, our little series right here. I did promise that quite a while ago that, you know, I was going to be using, or I was going to be using the Pokemon that I had in both my yellow versions and crystal versions and stuff. Uh, just to complete the whole thing. Don't necessarily remember why I stopped playing Pokemon Stadium and Stadium 2. Hmm. 
Must have been for over some weird stuff. Anywho, um, trying to do that. And hopefully we don't get attacked by Pokemon. Crap baskets. So like I was saying, I don't remember why I stopped playing it. I just know that we started playing it during the, pa the, the pandemic. When I was feeling a little big for my britches and it was coming out with like a bazillion walkthroughs. But this time it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, we're going to have some Pokemon that actually mean something and... I think? Yeah. Off screen too, I'm actually going to try and capture like, you know, the regular members, my regular team members in their pre-evolved form. That way it can be a little more interesting in the other, you know, the other side games that we have in Pokemon Stadium and Stadium 2. I mean, I always seem to go into the the gym leader the gym leader challenges, but never to the, you know, the challenge or the the Pokemon stadiums and all that stuff. So, we're going to try and do that. And well, here comes a thunder punch from Corsola. Or to Corsola. And Corsola has been defeated. Fluffolt getting some points right there. Serpentera, what's up? And Olivia has been defeated. Yes, she drinks Moo Moo milk every single day. Anywho, let's move on. Uh, let's see, what does this say? Trainer tips. If a Pokemon is trying to evolve, you can stop it. Press the B button for during evolution. That startles the Pokemon and stops evolution. Okay, well, that's good to know. And here we are at Route 39. And this one will actually go to Ecrotech City, or to Olivine City. So let's go ahead and battle this guy, continue talking about what I was talking about. And, well, let's get it. So yeah, that's one of the few games. Uh, let's see, I don't even know what day this this episode will be coming out, guys. Um, again, hope you're enjoying it. Uh, as much as I'm playing it yet again. Um, a lot of stuff is going to be coming on in November and in December, or if, it, if it's already in November, December, you guys probably already know that, like, life is a little crazy. Hopefully, a championship comes out of it, you know, still coaching football and all that crud, and, well, look at that, Serpentera has grown, uh, learned Rage. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Rage is good, but not that great. Um, yeah, championship thing is gonna be going on, uh, 12-year anniversary is gonna come up, too on December 19th, and what else? Yeah, right around this time too, guys, Pokemon Violet and Scarlet, or Scarlet and Violet, are gonna be coming out, and it's, I know some of you guys are gonna be asking, hey, so, are you gonna be posting it on your channel? Here's the thing, guys. I need to actually learn how to play the game, I really do. Um, I always seem to go into these games blind and, you know, it, it bothers me. It really does. That's why I'm playing Pokemon Sword again. I, I literally went blind on the Pokemon game. And I think you can find an item right here. Let's see. They, these are, by the way, these are mill tanks. Yeah, I go blind on these games and it, it really, like, it really makes me feel uncomfortable because, you know, I always make some rash decisions, some dumb decisions. And then I always look back to the walkthroughs, and it's just, oh my god, I'm just telling myself, wow, I probably should have just waited and all that stuff. So we're going to be using the item finder. And there's an item nearby, so let's see, where are you? Should be here somewhere. There's an item right here. Mill tank, yes, move. Let's see, there's an item. I'm skipping through. Come on, I know you're here. Where is that item? We'll drive and find out. Find out. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, I'll be right back with you guys until I find it. Holy crap. Okay, so I'm back. They really needed to fix that item finder, but the item that we're looking for is right here. The nugget. So that's more moolah for us. Cool, fantastic, awesome. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go right here. Grab this. We found ourselves a mint berry. And I believe this one will wake us up, probably. Now, this here is the Moo Moo Farm. Enjoy our fresh and tasty milk. Go in here, and you're going to be talking to some of these farmers right here. My milk tank ain't giving me milk no more. This here farm's got a famous milk most everyone wants to drink milk. Or drink milk, I don't even know how to say it. It'll give, it, give me lots of old milk if I uh, feed it lots of berries, I reckon. I don't even know what he, he said, but I'm pretty sure he needs berries. Our milk even goes into Kanto. 
So if our own milk tank won't give as uh, give us many or give us any milk, we're in trouble. So you guys ever wonder why I was holding those berries for such a long time? You know, was never giving you know these regular berries to my Pokemon. Well, it's for this situation, not just for the 10 HP that you know it normally gets. Now here's a milk tank. It is sick. Mumu is sick. She needs lots of berries. How many berries do you need? Mumu's sick. She needs lots of berries. You need seven berries, so let's go right ahead and start feeding this mill tank, okay? Yes. We are always prepared. There's... Okay, so let's give it another one. There's number two. Come on, mill tank! Time to feed. There we go. And mill tank became a little bit healthier. Okay, so we don't need those uh, the sour milk. There we go. That's four. There we go. Give it five. And it became quite healthy. Okay, there's six. I think there's one more. Let's see. There you go. Nope, not yet. Okay, come on, Miltank. Bam! Yes. Miltank became totally healthy. Okay, so we're heroes. We're feeding Moo Moo. Yeah, they're, they're just going to be saying feeding Moo Moo and all that stuff. So we're the heroes once again. And now we go right here, talk to this individual. He's like, how'd you like my Moo Moo milk? It's my pride and joy there. Now he's speaking properly, like, I mean... Did you guys not realize that? When he's talking to us, he's talking to us like a Western guy, but right here, he's talking to us properly. What the hell? Give it to Pokemon... Oh, give it to Pokemon to restore HP. I'll give it to you for... Or fur... 500 Poke Dollars. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some Moo Moo Milk. Talk to this guy right here, or this chick. You fixed our, mo our milk tank, hun. Now, it gives Moo Moo Milk again. Here's something for your trouble. TM13. Is this Ice Beam? I kind of feel like it's not. No, it's Snore. It's a rare move that only works while the Pokemon is asleep. You best think how you ought to use it, or how do you, uh, you ought to use it, Han. Okay, well, you know, my, you, you kind of raised my hopes up just a little bit with, you know, TM13 and all that crud. Let us move away. Okay. So anywho guys, we are heroes yet again, and now we got a battle yet again. We're close to Olivine, alright, so what's up? Such darning Pokemon, let's show how Pokemon together at the same time. Bring it. Okay. How's it going? And here we have a Pokemon a Pokefan Ruth, and she's coming out with a Pikachu. So, let's go back, let's go segue back to the conversation I was just having, guys. Yes, um, I do feel a little bit uncomfortable just going into a game, you know, blindly and all that stuff. And I've done that quite a few times, guys, and I, I you know, I'm trying to, like, try my best to do a little bit better with the walkthroughs and all that stuff. And this Pokemon is really getting on my, you know, what, so let's go with Togepri. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of want to, I kind of want to do a little bit better with the walkers that I'm doing, and it looks like to me, I'm just going off of a limb right here, but it, I'm thinking that Pokemon Violet, uh, Scarlet and Violet, will be coming out when I'm completely done with Pokemon Sword because, yeah, some of you guys are like, well, you already finished Pokemon Sword, why did you play it again? Like I said, it felt uncomfortable. Going in there blindly. Found out a few things that I probably needed to do before I did this. You know, that kind of stuff. So, I realized that let's do it again. Let's put some background to it. Let's put a little editing on that. And then what else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah, and actually complete both, uh, both levels. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. I get that done, then, you know, Scarlet and Violet will be done too. Uh, not only that, but it will give me time to actually learn these games. Yeah, I, I kind of need to learn these games, because apparently they're changing it up in this Pokemon, uh, this generation. And, well, let's see. I think there's another thing too that I wanted to say. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, there's Pokemon Legends Arceus as well. Uh, <laughs> didn't even play that game. I... Yeah, you know what? Right now, I'm kind of torn between two games. Because, you know, I did say I was going to play Pokemon Arceus a long time ago. 
Never did. And I kind of see where Pokemon's going with 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 the game, the new the newest generation. And some of you guys have said that maybe I should go with I should try Arceus first before Scarlet and Violet because it's it's gonna be like that open world. We're gonna be going anywhere. And you know I'm kind of thinking about that. I might just do that. Probably. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Help me out. I'm indecisive. I'm getting old. Not really, but you know what I mean. And, well, let's see. Take it on to Raticade. We desperately need a fighting type Pokemon or a fighting type move. A better fighting type move, I should say. You know, why they didn't come up with like a fighting slash, uh, whatchamacallit? A fighting slash whatever elemental type in this generation, uh, it's beyond me. And, well, look at that. Raticade defeated. Yes. Okay, so Serpentera is getting points. Not doing anything. Let's continue on right here with uh, Chico. It's the Chico show. And, uh, well, let's go with a Razor Leaf. Here comes that Razor Leaf. Yes. And there goes Krabby. I am uh, feeling great about that. So, yeah, there's a lot of games, guys, that I just haven't played, haven't had the time to play. I mean, as soon as we got to 2021, things got a little crazy. The production of videos went down. And I think there's an item right up there. No, there's a trainer that you can only fight at night, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. And trainer tips, use headbutt to shake trees at Pokemon out. Yes, okay, so you'll be able to find some interesting Pokemon here, too. It's like, like, it's like we didn't know. So here we are, guys, Olivine City. It's about darn time, and, well, once we go here, disturbance in the forest. This guy. You again. There's no need to panic. I don't bother with wimps like you. Speaking of weaklings, the city's gym leader isn't here. Supposedly taking care of a sick Pokemon at the lighthouse. <laughs> Boo hoo. Just let the sick Pokemon go. A Pokemon that can't battle is worthless. Why don't you do? Why, why don't you go and train at the lighthouse? Who knows? It may make you a bit less weak. Man, I am throwing a seriously. Nintendo, catch these hands button. You should come up with it. Seriously. Okay, so here is Olivine City, and man, I am gonna beat the living you know what out of that guy. And yes, in the next episode, we've got a, quite a few things to, that we can do right here. A few things to discover and all that stuff, and uh, yeah. That will be for the next episode. So thank you guys again for watching. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, links are in the description below. And yeah, the heart button right there. Yeah, keep this channel going and all that stuff if you guys love it. Also, membership, uh, members only videos, if you guys want to watch that, especially during the holidays, you can sign up right here under my channel, just go into my main page, boom, sign up, and bam, you'll get yourself some free, or not, not some free stuff, I mean, you'll get yourself some new content exclusively for members. Thank you guys again for watching, I will see you guys in the next episode, see you guys.